Hey everybody, how you doing today? Nice uh, warm September day. Um, we got some stain. It's a bare water uh, proofing and wood finish stain. We're going to do these uh, outside chairs with. Let me show you. Chair out there. And this one, I've got the same thing right here. Just got it turned over upside down. I always do the bottoms first. Um, then I'll do the tops afterwards. That way you don't get any drip lines and everything. You're covering them over after. But I also come to these ends here. I want to do these ends first. Um, is that usually how the water gets drawn up inside of those? And you always see these things are starting to rot at the bottom first. So I'll try to do those bottoms first, all the open ends like that. And then I'll, like again, I'll do the bottom. Then I'll turn this back over on top of this tarp I got right here. And uh, I'll do the top end. And then I'll go back, start that one over there and do the same thing. They're both the same thing, the doubles like that uh they're white cedar so what we're using as a clear uh, clear number 400 bare deck plus uh transparent finish so you'll get to see what that looks like on a white cedar if you ever want to do it for yourself we did this back deck over here in the same exact finish and it looks a lot like this pressure treated stuff that i'm on now you can see right here kind of gives you that pressure treated look so um we'll see what this uh white cedar looks like and i'll show you what i got as I'm having moving along here. like to start with these get a good penetrating amount of oil in there uh, stain I want to make sure that soaks up a lot of it and then here you can see is another spot I like to make sure that has plenty of it there too Try and get every creek and crevice and then these and these little knot holes and stuff, make sure there's plenty of stain in there. And I'll, another one right there. Make sure there's plenty in there so it soaks up quite a bit. I'll do the other end as well. Tuck up in there. Yep. I'll move on up to those. Get this, uh, Area here too as well where all the bark was and stuff is kind of a make sure you get all these cracks and crevices and make sure you get a good heap and a stain in there so it soaks in all the knot holes yeah it's gonna turn out pretty good it's gonna darken up that white cedar a little bit well i'll move on up and i'll show you we get those little pieces in there as well over there and there and I do the tops and the sides. I know. Continue from there. Here's the white cedar before the stain aside, and this is what it looks like after. It gives it almost like a wet, a wet wood look. And again, I get these pretty tight in depth there, I'm trying to get all the, the ends and stuff. And these ends up here, make sure you get those saturated so it soaks right in. And uh, it'll look good. That's the other side. So I'm going to work on the side over here too, but just giving you a general idea what it'll look like. And here is this thing I'm using right here. Clear number 400, bare deck plus transparent waterproof wood finish. Not too bad. Oh, keep on working. Other places like this where you got those screws countersunk into that wood try and get a lot of uh stain right into those holes let it soak right in there for a bit you want that to get as much stain in there as you can so the water doesn't eat a lot but this will be up I mean, this is obviously upside down i got another set right there i'll show you i just like to pretty much drown them in in stain for a bit Yeah, 
let it soak right in. So here's what the one that's not stained looks like. It's sort of in the shadow, so it's kind of hard to see. And here's what the finished stain job looks like. Makes it look a lot more like cedar. You know, it is white cedar, but it brings out like a cedar look to it when it's all done. Looks pretty good. This is a white cedar and it's got a that bare semi-transparent stain or transparent stain actually. Looks pretty good. Get on to the next one. Well, that's how much stain I used doing that whole bench right there, front and back, upside down, inside out, and every other way you could do it. Not too bad. So now I'm working on Bench number two, just got it on the tar, I mean the top. And I'm gonna start staining the bottom. Work my way up. Maybe I'll get a drink first. I'm getting pretty hot. <laughs> hey, doing, Mitch? Hey, thank you, buddy. Good boy. Well, got them done. Took a little bit of time, but uh, they come out really nice. I really like that finish. Uh, mix up, uh, you notice that white seed look really, uh, Makes it stand right out. Looks a little more like a red cedar now. Looks good. There's one there. And the other one is right, right there. There's Mitchell, our boxer. Yeah, turned out real nice. Well, a little bit of work. And uh, try and make sure you uh, get that stain to set in where the screws are. Uh, also set in where the knots are and get the ends really good. And, uh, Turns out real nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.